Hello there guys, I'm going to take a quick look at the Populous Reincarnated Matchmaker or the Populous Online Client options that are available for players. So if anyone's confused about what to set up and what to do, we're going to take a look at them all now and go not in depth, but we're going to take a brief overview of what they all do. So once you've booted up your matchmaker, get rid of this big hat. You'll be greeted with this, you'll be connecting to the Lucid Chat IRC. You'll see here, map of the day, you'll have the welcome message up here. If you, It'll also be displayed as soon as you enter. This is like the chat room, you'll be able to see tournament news. If you're interested in playing tournaments, make sure to check that, because I might get updated every month or so if there's new tournaments ongoing. You'll see your league information here, you have a few links to, to sections of the Populous Reincarnated website, and you have your hosting ability here. So the options are available up here. Things like this on the left here are the how you can actually play the game, but we'll, we'll cover that in another video about how to play and all the hosting options that are available. So bring up the options. You will have your general tab here. You'll have your language that you can choose from. There's a variety of languages in case you want to change the way it is. So let's change it to Russian. Can't understand a thing. Let's change it to Spanish. I can understand a little. So we'll change it back to English. Now run up Windows Startup is fairly self-explanatory. If you want the obvious matchmaker to run as soon as you start, start Windows, then it will do that. If you want to connect as soon as you start, so as you saw at the beginning, I, I had a separate screen where I log in. But once you remember your details, it will just, as soon as you click the matchmaker, or if you have both of these chosen, you will just be booted into the matchmaker as soon as you start your computer. Providing you have saved your password. Of course, you need to save your password. That's self-explanatory. You can save chat logs, guys. If you want to save the chat logs, I do this. I do this and they all get saved into a folder in the public reincarnated area that you can see on your, your computer. Hey, that's my name. Okay, minimize your system tray. I have this check, so if I want to minimize it, I'll close the options here. All I do is minimize and it will disappear from my bar, but if you go to your extra icons, you'll see it there. Click it, it brings it back up. So it doesn't stay on the taskbar. Of course, if we go and check that, we take it off, then of course it stays there. So I like to have that option off because sometimes I don't like to be disturbed by the by the matchmaker. I like to have my nice and neat. I'm a bit of a, a bit of a neat freak like that. Game settings are these here. You can either have them on the top or you can switch them around to the bottom. But I'm used to them being on the top, so yeah, I'm confused already. Of course, you check for updates here to see if there's any available updates. There's nothing at the moment because I've already done it. Okay, the second option you've got is your blacklist. Now this is solely for people who you don't want to hear speak. You have an option here to allow blocked players in a hut. So if you check that, you can still play with the players you've blocked, but if you have it unchecked, then no, you can't. Now you put the name in here, you can type in someone's name, or you can also right click on them and go to a block. And it will also, for instance, have our block Luke here. You would then be up here, I can't see. There's an icon over here saying he's blocked. If he types anything, I won't be able to see it. And I won't even be able to play with him if I'm hosting a game. Only if you're hosting the game, guys. You can still join theirs and they can join a game you're not hosting, of course. Now to unblock it, I, would, I don't really use this for unblocking, I would just right click on him there and go back to unblock. That'll take him off the list, type in it's a bit, it's a bit finicky so don't bother with that. Now the next option is lobby. This is like your lobby option, this is of course the lobby in your chat. So, show private messages, so if you get a private message you can either have it come up in the chat, so you'll get a private message here. Or you can have it come up in windows like I have it, so if you were just say you wanted to speak to someone, you've got a separate window come up here for your private chat, which is, you know, it's easier to manage rather than getting lost in the in the overall chat. Auto away on mouse idle, so if you're not, not you're not by your computer for say five or ten minutes, I'm not sure of the time, you're you will automatically change to away like it is there. Now you can sort everyone's name here on the left. This is all the players who are currently in the populist matchmaker. We've got 43 people online at the moment. You can sort it by however you like. So you can sort it by name. And it's in the within the groups, of course, but it'll be sorted alphabetically, like this. Now, if you were to select by rank, which is how I have it, you see everyone's ranks. Because it's sorted by what players' ranks are in the leagues, and then you've got the the um, pop routine with the different icons here. Sorted by status, sorted by who's aware and and whatnot, who's who's resting, and and you can yeah, so you can do it like that. Now, if you were to ignore the clan tags here. It would be alphabetical without the clan tag. So you would see alpha enemy, then apnea, uh, you know, obviously begin with an A and it ignores the clan tags. So you unselect that, they go all the way down here because, you know, the special character here puts it down after the Z. Group players by game here. This is all, everyone's playing now. We've got 13 people playing. You can see who's in each individual game, so you know who's playing with who. Typically, that's how it is. Sometimes it's a bit, it's a bit off. You can also see who's spectating. But if you uncheck that, you just see like a one big list of players who are currently in game. If you don't care who's playing who. You can watch streams of players. If someone was streaming, you could right click and go to view stream, but there's nothing on there because no one's streaming. And it would either come up in the Pop the Shrinking website or the Twitch website. 
You can ignore group chat invites if you so desire. So when you right-click someone to create a conference, if you have that checked, people can't do that with you. So it's a way of avoiding people spamming you with the uh, group invites, if that's what's happening. Short timestamps here is when people when people type, you can see a timestamp. If you unselect that, when people continue to type, you won't see any timestamps. Or you can have it on like I do, so I know what time people have spoken. Now for the filter, you can filter, you can force the lowercase. So if people are spamming with capitals, you can check this. And everything everyone types will always display in lowercase rather than uppercase. This is the language filter. If you don't like what people say, you want to type a swear word in here. Or any word, if you don't like someone saying the word cereal, you would type it in there. It would hide that word if someone typed cereal. Now if someone typed a full message with the word cereal in it somewhere, it would hide the entirety of that message because it has the word cereal in that message. Likewise, if someone sends you a private message with the word, I really like cereal, you wouldn't you wouldn't see it. It would just be in your one big blur. Okay, so I don't use the language filter and I'm quite happy with cereal actually, so I like cereal. In notifications here, you can this is for no, get notified when people send you private messages. So you can have Nick alerts here, so I've got Nick alerts for like that, but it's 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 finicky, so I don't I don't I don't tend to use it because I have sub, but if anyone says that any word that has the word sub in it, it just pings it. So if someone says subject or subway, it, it lets me know and as if someone's been speaking to me, but no, I I don't know why, I don't know if there's a way around that, but as far as I know, no. You can get notified on, on private messages. Of course, that's how it normally is. So if someone sends you a private message, you will be made aware. Likewise, if you're hosting and then you get a full hut, you'll also get an alert, which is just flashing, which you'll be a flashing like on like any other alert and notifications on, on Windows. Or you can have a, a sound that plays as well. And the default is a bell sound, which is pretty annoying. I have mine changed, but you can, you can change that yourself by changing the alert.wav that's in your popular folder. But that's, that's a bit more advanced, you know, it's a bit more advanced. So I don't have any at the moment because I don't want to be disturbed. So have that off. Skin, this is your skin. So what we're looking at here now is the pop popular matchmaker skin that I use. I can't quite remember what it's called. But you can happily change it. You can have a look here. It'll load, it'll bring up a preview of a different skin that's available once it loads. Okay, there we go. That's a preview of the skin. It's a bit small, but you can go to the website and see the full preview if you like. You click install, it would instantly change it to this. So you can go through there and choose any you like. This is the bot option now. Not sure what this is. I have no idea why there's a, a bot option. Maybe it's for more advanced users. Maybe it's for... Like a host bot or something, start bot with my, maybe it's if you actually have a bot yourself, if you're running a bot, maybe that's like what that's for, but for me, that means nothing, so maybe just ignore it. Now, if you click on the populist tab here, without expanding it, so you can actually expand it here, set your populist directory if you need to change it, it should set itself automatically. Popul populist mode is whether you're going to be running in software or hardware. Now, with populist on the current systems, you need to run it in software. If you run the game in hardware, it just simply will not work, so do not do that. Copy this version if you want to play the beta and test that out, you can do that. You can change to the beta, then go and play in a hut as a host, and it would put everyone else's beta. You might have to update before you do that, but original is obviously the original game. Show enemies in minimap. Now this is off by default. This is when you first come in, this is like this. If you don't know what that means, that's fine. It basically means in the game you can see you can see enemies on the minimap. Now it doesn't always work, it's 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 a bit broken, but I would recommend turning it on and if you're not going to turn it on at least allow other players to show it because it's a very useful tool and it's a bit it's a bit naff not to have it so I of course have it on. Hi chat while playing. I'm not sure whether this refers to the matchmaker chat or the in-game chat. I might have to check that out right now. I'm going to I'm going to hide the chat while playing and I'll have a look. Okay, so we can see here that I can still see chat in game so it's obviously not related to that. So it must hide the chat that is spoken in the matchmaker here so you might want to know what happened while you're in games, so maybe keep that off. You can send screenshots every minute, if you so desire, which will go to your directory in your populist directory. Every minute in the game, a screenshot will be sent, which is quite an interesting tool, but you know, I might, if you forget that it's on, you might end up wasting lots of space. But I don't use that, because I record videos anyway. And spectators, you can choose how many people are allowed to spectate you while you're in game. Default is two, you can choose, I'm not sure what the maximum is, let's try 99 and see what happens. 20 is the maximum, okay, so 20 is the maximum, but I've got it on 2, that's fine, I mean, I don't mind having on more, but I've just got it on 2 by default. There's not that many people going to be spectating me, that's for sure. Now, if we expand populous, we come to our graphics. Now, this is a resolution you can choose, you might want to set it to what you normally play on, I've got mine on a bit higher, because that's what I, that's what I spectate games in. This is my actual monitor size, my laptop size, so I can't go any higher, if I did do this, it wouldn't work. Now you can show all the resolutions in game, so if you want to change the resolutions to these extra settings here in game, you'll need to have this checked, so I would recommend that. You can enable a DX Wind, I 
never enabled it, but apparently it helps some people and it's a bit smoother. It might help you on your on your system, I don't know. There's, a, there's an option here that says change to populist resolution. I have it checked, don't really know what it does, but uh, I guess it's maybe useful. Maybe someone can explain to me in the comments what that does, but apparently it changes something. It doesn't really explain what it does. Change to populist resolution. I don't know what it changes. Resize the MM while playing, so it will resize the matchmaker whilst you are playing. It doesn't actually work for me anyway, but apparently if you start the game, it should re it should resize the, the matchmaker to the right size when you come in and out of game and things like that. Fix the texture, it should fix textures if you have any texture problems, I've got to tick tick anyway, because why not? Sky is on, although I do like the sky, so I'll keep the sky on. High landscape detail, why not? Show the footsteps, definitely man, come on my computer can run this stuff. High frame rates, I mean if it's available, yeah I'll go for it. You can change your gamma options, but never touch that in my life, so there we go. Yeah, your control settings for playing in the game, obviously you can set all this stuff in game itself, but if you, ha if you set everything here, it's, it stays like this when you start each game. This will fix mouse if you've got any mouse flickering issues as such, you can tick that. Now I take it anyway, I don't even know if I've got any problems, but like I say, if it's going to fix something, why not? Autocast, of course you want to be able to autocast, everyone should have that on. Scrolling tooltips, that's that's preference, that's up to you, whether you want your tooltips to scroll or just, just be like... It's irrelevant, it's, it's the little tips that come up when you highlight something and go, so this is the blast spell. So whether you want that to scroll or not, that's up to you. Clip rotation is like if you want your rotations to go left or I'll go right. Clockwise or counterclockwise, I don't have either mine as standard. Stay selected, you definitely want this ticked, do not untick that, you always want to stay selected. If you have not got stay selected on, every time you tell your shaman to move, it will deselect her, and that's just a silly, silly option in the first place. Rotation with CTRL, you will have this off by default. That's the default way to play the game. But if you want, if you want your, if you want to have to rotate the camera with the control key, you have that on. I have mine on because I have a different setup. Now for the audio, you can see here, you can enable your sound and music. I have my sound enabled, but I have it on very, very low. My music's disabled because I, I listen to other music in the background, and then I, added, I add music on to my videos afterwards anyway. I have my sound on a low volume as well, because obviously I need people to hear my voice more than the actual game. And the high quality sound I have disabled, because when I enable that, it crashes my game. So you might want to, if you have any crash issues on Windows 10, that could be the problem, so check that. Network settings now, this is where you can check to see if you can host, do a port test, it will tell you, you can do the same thing up here as well. And it will tell you your hosting capability, if you're capable you will have a little star next to your name that tells you you can host. If you're not capable you need to port forward, there's port forwarding help but there's about a thousand threads on the forums. If you can't port forward these days, either your router is terrible or you have not set it up correctly. Everyone should be able to do that, now there's lots of people who don't so I don't know. Dial-up mode, this is probably something to do with reduced network usage, don't use it, I don't have a dial-up, this isn't 1999. And these are advanced network settings, experts only, and I'm not an expert, so we're gonna brush over that. Let's go to capture now, the final, final thing in the options here. So if you want to stream here, you've got the option to enable Twitch TV streaming. You've got your Twitch name, which you will put in which, whatever you create. You have got your stream key, which you you will get off Twitch. Obviously, you can't see mine because I've, I've hidden that because stream keys are very, you know, you should not give anyone your stream key. Advanced settings here. So if this is just what you, you should look at a tutorial if you don't know what you're doing here. Basically, run down. You want to put, you want to downscale it to whatever you're playing on. You want to have your Twitch server to your local server, which is for me is easy E, which is in Argentina. And this, you want to just leave it as it is, basically. The bit rates, typically do a, do a speed test and then do 10% of your upload speed. It's, it's standard, but, you know, do whatever you feel is comfortable. You, you do the research, not me, guys. And if you want to just enable recording instead, you can set a save location. My save location's there. And instead of streaming, it will actually save the game itself. And here you have the same side of options. You might want to not downscale it for things like that. Downscale is more to help it stream better and, and not have a high latency and all that jazz. So there we go guys, that's the populist options. If you've got any queries about anything I mentioned, maybe I didn't, you didn't understand anything, let me know. Next time maybe I'll, maybe I'll do one of these videos, we'll, we'll go into details about the hosting options and how to actually play the game.